In order to achieve accurate results, a DMA has to be regularly calibrated and, if necessary, adjusted. We will now show you how to calibrate DMA1 for zero position, displacement, and force. Temperature calibration is shown in a separate video. The instrument zero position is indicated by the vertical black line in the displacement bar graph in the preparation dialog on the touch screen. When no sample is loaded, the static displacement indicator should coincide with the instrument zero position. In the module control window of the software, start the adjustment by clicking zero position adjustment on the calibration adjust menu. Click yes and follow the instructions on the DMA1 display. Tap OK for the instruction info. Check that all the nuts are tightened and the drive shaft is free from any obstructions. Tap OK to confirm. The newly calculated displacement offset parameter appears in the Zero Position Adjustment dialog box in the Module Control window. The value of the previous calculation is included in brackets. If the calculated displacement offset parameter is within the tolerance limits, click Save to adjust the instrument. Otherwise, discard the calculated parameter value by clicking Cancel. The displacement adjustment is based on the measurement of length differences. It is performed by interchanging gauge blocks. It is highly recommended to perform the displacement calibration with certified gauges. These are available from Mettler Toledo as an accessory to the DMA-1. These gauge blocks are precision components made up of steel with a certification of traceability to NIST. For a DMA-1 displacement adjustment, you will need the following. Three gauge blocks. DMA-1 instrument with the measuring head in the horizontal position furnace left open, bending sample holder installed, and with the alignment insert mounted. In the module control window of the STAR E software, start the adjustment by clicking Displacement Adjustment on the Calibration Adjust menu. A Displacement Adjustment dialog box appears. Enter the correct thickness value of each gauge block in the appropriate box, then click Start. The System Info dialog appears, reminding you that the measuring head must be oriented horizontally. Tap OK. An instruction appears requesting you to fit the alignment insert and tighten the nuts with a torque wrench. Tap OK to confirm. The message Insert First Gauge appears. Remove the two nuts in the middle drive shaft clamp. Gently push the middle support pillars far enough to allow the gauge to fit in the gap and insert the 0.3 millimeter gauge underneath the alignment insert. Tap OK. The first adjustment parameter is calculated and stored. The message Insert Second Gauge appears. Carefully remove the gauge block. Repeat the procedure for other two gauge blocks as described for the first. After the third adjustment is finished, the dialog box Displacement Adjustment with the newly calculated displacement factor pops up in the module control window of STAR E software. Check that the new displacement is within the limits and press Save. We will now show you how to perform a force calibration and adjustment on DMA-1. You will need the following accessories. The calibration toolbox. And a reference weight of 100 grams. In the module window of the STAR E software, start the adjustment by clicking Force Adjustment on the Calibration Adjust menu. Enter the correct reference weight of 100 grams and then click Start. Tap OK to confirm the vertical orientation of the DMA measuring head. Tap OK to confirm that the drive shaft is free from any obstruction. The initial force calibration without the weight is performed. Fit the reference weight on the drive shaft.
The two support pillars fit into the two recesses at the underside of the reference weight. Tap OK to confirm the proper placement of the reference weight. Both the static and dynamic force factor parameters are now calculated. Remove the reference maths and press OK. If the calculated static and dynamic force factors are within the tolerance limits, click Save to adjust the instrument. Otherwise, discard the calculated parameter value by clicking Cancel. Mettler Toledo recommends preventive maintenance combined with calibration for your TA module. This instrument-specific service is typically performed in predefined intervals to ensure long-term and failure-free operation. We have now shown you how to do zero position adjustment, displacement adjustment, force adjustment. Further tips and hints could be found in the on-demand webinars on DMA and calibration.